So this morning I'm at a house in a garden. So this morning I've come to look at some outside lights. You can see the first light is there and then it just goes through to the rest of the garden. There's one over in the corner, there's one there, there's one over there. And that's just on a loop from armoured cable. So you can see a piece of armoured cable which goes over to that one and then it just loops all the way around the garden. It's fed from this double pole switch here. So you can see the armoring comes out of it. And um, it's got a feed from the consumer unit um, behind us. And then it's also got a switch inside the house which operates the line conductor, um, um, which operates this line conductor. So then the lights can be turned on and off in, within the house. So that's the first light. Now, what, what had happened is when they were turning the lights on, it was just tripping the RCD straight away. So it indicates maybe an earth fault. So I came out, undone this one straight away, and it was really cogged, cogged up. I disconnected everything, did an insulation resistance test, found that there was zero meg ohms. So I was able to disconnect it, get this one connected up to the original part of the circuit and got that one working. However, I then came along and undid this one. And so you can see the armor in from, one, from that light comes to here. And then this one then will go off to the next one. Now, I did this temporarily. I did a couple of temporary connections to try to get this one working as well, but um, but it, it wasn't very successful because there was other other issues. You can see how the armin's been put together. I suppose at least it's been twisted together. At least it's been joined together to keep it continuous, but it's still not very good. Um, I'd put these Wago connectors on just as a temporary measure. Now you can see straight away. You can see that that's been done in one and a half mil. And then that side's been done in two and a half mil, so straight away it looks a real mess. If we come across to this one, it's I've just undone the base of this one. I didn't really need to, but it's absolutely just caked in mud. So if thing if, if everything get in there, everything can else also get in the top. Now there's little grub screws in here. Now I can't get them out on this one, so I've had to drill them out. They're completely seized in for some reason. So I've had to drill them out and then pop the top off. Here we are at the next light and I've left this one intact so you can see how it is. So everything is just a real mess in there. So now I just want to do an insulation resistance test. So this is the, so I'm just going to go between line and the, the earth so that's the that's the feed that's coming from the first light now that one should be okay because it's all been disconnected and there you go that's 75 mega ohms if i now go between line and earth on the other leg that's feeding the other lights and i'm doing an insulation resistance test you can see zero mega ohms so we've been on the job now for about two hours and um, that, that's the second light that we showed you initially and so what we've been doing is we've separated all of the lights and so we've got all of the connections there now I can't tell as you can see on this one I can't tell which one the earth and um, which one is the supply and which one is the going off to the next light so we've just connected the earths together done the same to this one we've got this light taken down if you look in here that's where all the connections are but I'm gonna read all them so I've just cut the cable there and then at the moment we're up to this light on on here so what we've been doing is 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 chasing the fault so I've just joined both earths together because again I can't see which one's which. So now I'll go on to there and we, we test it and that's showing a very poor reading and we go on to the, onto the other one and we test it and that's showing a good reading. 
So this one here, which is the port, follows on to the lights throughout the rest of the garden. I haven't tested on that one, but I think that one will be okay. And again, we've had to disconnect every single light. I'll just go on to it and test it. And as you can see, 999 mega ohms. So basically what we've done, we've started off over in the far corner and you can just see the light there. We've then gone to this one, we've gone to back to this one, all the way through and now we're on this one here. So there's another three or four lights, you can just see one there, one in the corner, there's one there. So those th three or four that's over there, they are faulty still, but these ones here are good. Well, there's no insulation, um, there, there's no poor readings on there. So I'm gonna concentrate now getting them ones reconnected up and, 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 and try and do the connections better and well, better than what they were. So we've fitted a box onto the wall where all the connections are within. We have armored, a piece of armored cable then coming up into, into one of the original holes. If you notice, that we have filled these existing holes, that hole and, and this one now, with a type of outside sealant, just to stop, just to try to prevent um, ingress of any anything else. And then we have redone the connections relatively neatly using Wago connectors. So hopefully that should be, be okay now. I'll remount this onto the wall. I'll also run a bead of sealant all around the inside edge. So when this light sits onto it, hopefully it will just help to prevent it from, from getting any other dirt in. So the light is now fitted. The box is on the wall. Any excess sealant there that's come out, that will just, once that's all dried off, so this excess sealant here, once it's all dried off, it will just be able to be cut out and come away. It's not gonna stop things from coming in, but it's just gonna help it. So anyway, that's much better. So here we are on the last light of the circuit, and now I'm just gonna confirm the ZS to ensure that everything is okay. So I've got this crocodile clip on the back of this earth connection. We'll look at that in a second. But just turn, turn the tester on, probe on to, both line and neutral and the tester has just made a noise it takes about eight seconds eight to ten seconds it's the three lead low test that we're doing and i don't know if you can see the tester there it's reading 2.15 ohms we've got about 5.8 ohms on a six amp breaker so that's absolutely okay so you'll notice we've got this little um, brass screw sticking out on this side. I've put that there on purpose because the earths that lead to these, um, to these lamps I don't think are very good at all. And so all I've done, I've just drilled a small hole through there and I've just put a brass screw sticking out. Now it's sticking out quite a bit there, um, but, it's, uh, but it's, it's enabled me to, when you're doing testing or anything like that, it's a good earth to find to get onto. Um, and then I've put a, a crimp on the inside that connects to the main earth of all the armouring and everything. So now each lamp has got a really good earth that um, is easily accessible and um, ensures that it's, everything's all safe. As you can see, we now have lights on throughout the garden. There's one final one over there. So we initially, we turned up to the job, and we started on this light here, and then we've gone all the way round, and basically we've rewired every single light because of how, how bad the connections were done in the first place, and um, because damp and moisture had got inside and, and it just wasn't very good at all. So we've took every light off, we've refitted them down, and done them all again. We've put some eco halogen lamps in, just some 42 watt lamps in. I'd normally want to put LEDs in, but 
just for the time being I've put eco halogens in there simply because they haven't been the, the, these lamps haven't been used for over a year um, or, or the lights haven't been used for over a year and so there is sort of the, 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 everywhere does feel a little bit damp and, and, and stuff so I think actually um, running the slightly more powerful um, lamps in or, or more wattage lamps you'll get a little bit more current going through um, and and the lights the, the lamp holders themselves get much warmer and so that should should be okay you can see how bad some of the things were all this was just covered up in with earth here and so all of that inside was just filled with earth so what I've advised them to do is it's a bit more has fallen back in there now but what I've advised the customers to do is clear it all completely run a small bead of out, outside silicon around it which I've been able to do on some of them but not on every single one um, and so then they and then just to try to prevent any moisture or anything in so just to run through what we've done there was a earth faults between line and neutrals and earths and we've just gone through from one light to another re-disconnected it insulation resistant tested it everything eventually pushing the fault to the next light until all of the faults became um, um were, were, were got rid of and that was the reason the faults there we never actually found a a fault like a damaged wire or a screw in a wire or anything like that nothing like that it's purely just um poor connections and damping the connections we've got this lantern here and if you look on this one this is the silicon so if you look on this here i've run this is outdoor silicon or multi-purpose silicon and so i've just put a bed of it and then sank the light on it and then that's made sure that's all okay on this one we've actually ran the armored directly into the um, alloy, alloy or the aluminium casing um, i'd cut this one slightly too much so i've actually run a bit of silicon just in there as well just to make sure that's okay that gives it a really good earth going all the way up there i just wanted to bring your attention to this so you can see the neutrals and the, um, the line conductors and the cpcs i also have done this which i wasn't really too happy about how i did it um, but the normal way of connecting these up i'd run out and so i've done this i've used the two little earth rings as you can see there and there through with a little stainless steel um, nut and bolt it then comes through here connects to this one so it ensures that continuity with all of the armoring um, is there and then i've also run i've actually just um joined also in there and back into the earths as well so it's not as it's not ideal how i'd like to have done it but it's 10 times better how it was than how it was